So, how are you? How do you I'm feel? I'm good. I'm good. I feel good. How it was to be on Eurovision stage? Wow. Your first rehearsal? Yes, it was awesome. It's just the stage is so great. It's as if I, as, if, as I remember it from 2011. It's really great. And that's the next question. You have had some Eurovision experience yes. before. Please tell us about it. I've been, uh, I was in uh, 2011. I went uh, as an acting vocal for Nina at the song Charaba. In Germany, uh, right? In Germany, yeah. And it was just a perfect experience. And I, I was always thinking, like, I really want to go back to Eurovision. But then I don't want to go as an acting vocal. And now there was a, a chance to go as a lead vocal. And what helped you to be here today? What did you do for that? What do you mean, what helped you? To be here on the revision as a main vocalist. Uh, you mean how did, uh, yeah. how did I get uh, chosen to be the main vocalist? Yes, and what did you do to be right now and to represent your country? Okay, so the uh, RTS, which is our national broadcaster, picked the song and then they were searching for the right singer for the song. So there were a couple of us demoing the song. And they chose me. They felt like I was the, the right fit. That's an interesting yeah. point. I, it's going to be better and better. We all like this. These are all just rehearsals. And thank you for for liking it. Uh, we did release the Serbian version of the song last night because the song was already done over the weekend, and I was very uh, uh, impatient to you know just uh, release it because I love the song. So we made a different version of it kind of uh, acoustic, not really acoustic, but live instruments. There's a cello, there is a violin, of course, like in this one, but it's more mellow with a real piano. So we kind of made a ballad out of it. And uh, it was done by Dushan Alagic. He played all the uh, piano and the violins and the, and the keyboards and everything. And he wrote the lyrics. So the song is completely different take, which is maybe something that's closer to Serbian uh, the Serbian people, they feel more those powerful ballads than uh, some other uh, type of music. And you want me to sing the, the part? <laughs> Hi, Alistair from Eurofile. My question is, have you heard any comments or feedback from previous Serbian artists, such as Milan Stankovic or Maria Sevovic? And how important to you is support from your fellow Serbian artists? Uh, it is very important. I haven't heard uh, from two of them in particular, although Maria did support and say that you know she thinks I'm a good choice. Thank her for that. But I did talk to Sanja Lucic from last year. I talked to Boyan Astameno because we're privately friends, Jelena Tomasevic. So um, I didn't really know that it will mean a lot. Uh, because you just you're focused on doing your thing and then you know you don't let any negative or positive comments distract you from the focus but on the other hand i really really felt good that they supported me it really means a lot all the colleagues from serbia all the singers and, uh, and the musicians uh, that supported me really means a lot and especially uh, from the people who already participated in eurovision Dobrodošli. Hi, I'm Simon Hi. from Polish Radio Vismeta. The question is about uh, artists who are coming back to Eurovision or who try many, many times in the national selections. You are one of the examples because you were a like, singer. Yeah. And I wonder, and I always ask questions in, personal, in private conversations, but also in public, why you came back? I mean, it was the natural feeling or and how this experience from uh, Dieseldorf Actually, I love this song uh, by Nina. It was amazing, uh, really. Uh, how it changed your life, artist artistically and, and privately? As I was saying, Eurovision is just some experience. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a world for itself. And when you're here for these two weeks, it's just taking you in. 
not letting you go, and you're on it. It's like Olympics with music. You know, all different countries, you meet a lot of people, you connect with a lot of people. So it's natural for people to get, per se, hooked on Eurovision. I'm always saying like um, that the biggest surprise for me was to see how many Eurovision fans are there, like die-hard Eurovision fans, and I'm probably going to be one of them uh, in the future years. Yes. This is just a community and it's accepting. I really love it. And um, I, as I said, I want, I always wanted to repeat the experience. There was not really a chance uh, until RTS um, invited me. And I said yes right away. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, where I am, I'm definitely singing in Eurovision. This is a dream come true, really. And where were you at that moment? Where are you? Hi, I'm Jakub from Eurovisia uh, Org from Poland. I have a question regarding the pre Eurovision parties because there are some voices uh, saying that they are useless, and you have been uh, a very active uh, participant in those parties. What uh, did they give you? The pre Eurovision parties? Yes. Uh, so it's like in Amsterdam, London, Madrid, Tel Aviv. I didn't parts. go to London, I went to Tel Aviv to Amsterdam and Madrid. Yeah. And I loved it. So as, uh, I went back in 2011 uh, to be the, uh, when I was at Acting Mobile, but we only went for two weeks uh, to the you know, New Eurovision, where the New Eurovision was uh, happening. But this time it's a month, so I'm always saying Eurovision lasts for two months. It doesn't last for just like 14 days that we're here. It lasts for so such a long time, the promotion before, uh, those concerts where you meet everyone. It took, I really loved being there because I met everyone already, uh, all the participants, and we kind of became friends, which is very nice. And I feel like it's very important for everyone to you know, connect. And you get to sing your song if you haven't uh, been singing it live so much because with us, it was uh, just internally picked. I was internally picked, so I wasn't really performing it so much. So you kind of get used to singing it in front of people. And and then I saw all these die-hard Eurovision fans that I love. I mean, I would I, I want to go next year again, even though I'm not participating. I'm just like, I'm going to go to those parties. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.